welcome to another video. So today is the first day of the See How I Do Vegan Week. Make sure to keep up that hashtag on Instagram, on Facebook even, on Twitter, um, but mostly Instagram, I check that the most. But anyways, so today's video is gonna be tips and tricks on how to make the most of your vegan week. So let's get into it. First and foremost, I recommend you watch three documentaries. These documentaries are Forks Over Knives, which covers the medical evidence behind why a plant-based diet is the best diet for your overall health, and that can be found on Netflix. The second documentary would be Cowspiracy, and this really covers um, the environmental aspect of it all and you know why it is so much more sustainable to be living out a vegan lifestyle, a plant-based diet. And that can also be found on Netflix. And the third documentary that I definitely, definitely recommend, um, it's a really cool perspective. It covers the ethical side of veganism and how it expands to much more than just animal agriculture and what you eat. So that is Earthlings and that cannot be found on Netflix, but um, Google it. There's so many free versions you can find on YouTube. I think that's that's where I watched it, you know, just make it full screen. It's like an hour and a half or so, but well, you know, well worth the watch, absolutely. The next thing is something I don't typically recommend. Um, I don't do it myself, but it is something that um, can be useful when you're not used to eating in this way, but count your calories. And this is really just to make sure that you're getting in enough calories because like I've mentioned in so many videos, you know, it's so easy to, um, you know, get in a calorie deficit by accident because you're not eat used to eating uh, foods that are calorically a lot uh, less. So just be counting your calories, make sure you're getting 2,000 or more. Um, remember these, you know, when you're having plant foods, they're very nutrient dense, but low in calories. So uh, your body may feel very full, but if you're not, you know, getting enough calories, um, you know, you're not gonna actually have enough energy um, to get through your day or get work your workouts or whatever it may be. So I recommend uh, my fitness pal. That's what I, when I do track my calories, if I do, then um, I'll use my fitness pal, but a chronometer that works as well. Just, um, yeah, good to do. The next thing is to check out the vegan food pyramid. Um, like I've mentioned before, you know, when you are eating this way, it really isn't, you know, the standard American diet minus meat, dairy, and eggs. It's really, you know, a whole new food group or many food groups that you are now including in your diet so so many probably new foods to you or you know a lot more foods that you might have not had that, that much before um but yeah so check that out um so you really have an understanding of where your calories that you'll be consuming um, will be coming from you know where they should be coming more from and less from and all that stuff next tip is to get some inspiration from social media definitely check out my instagram account it is at see how i do um, but so many other like youtubers and other instagram accounts are amazing and you know that's where i got my initial inspiration from so some youtubers that i watch that i think will be great for you guys to check out uh, first one is uh, naturally stephanie so she is actually in the process of um, working to you know bulk up a little bit um she is big on weightlifting and um, but she eats a lot of like you know delicious meals um, another one still in that weightlifting realm for guys that are you know maybe trying to uh, retain mass or you know get a little bit bigger uh, brian turner he is also you know just an awesome youtuber uh, very down to earth he went vegan i want to say just a year ago so he's still you know very grounded and understanding of the whole transition process um, another one that's still in that weightlifting realm is john venus um, same type of thing he's actually from norway lives in barcelona now um, but definitely an awesome very positive guy you know he shows how veganism can be incorporated very effectively um, into building a very strong able body and moving away from intense weight lifting people um, edgy veg is awesome she's a Canadian youtuber and she makes amazing kind of like vegan junk food but you know a very direct translation from standard American staples um, so definitely check out her stuff. She has a ton of recipes you guys should try. And then my last one is High Carp Hannah, and she also does a lot of great recipes. Very simple recipes. Um, 
she is definitely one to promote the starch solution which is a diet based around you know starches which makes sense so like potatoes uh you know uh pasta um just a very low fat high carb diet and as far as the food i really hope that my last video on grocery prepping helped you but my recommendation to make it easier on yourself is to make food in bulk so um, if you do like rice and beans, it's always a staple of mine, you know, and I don't have that much time. Make a huge amount of rice, make a huge amount of beans or lentils or whatever it may be. And, you know, you can make them plain and then, you know, spice them up in different ways every night, every lunch, you know, whenever you're going to have them. Um, and then an easy breakfast in the morning is oatmeal. You know, you just put that in the microwave. I always mash a banana, put my, oat my oats in, put water in, um, just mix it all together, put it in the microwave. It comes out, I do some cinnamon, and we're ready to go. The banana sweetens it naturally, and it's delicious, and it's very, very filling. So my last tip for you guys is to try your best to make this week less about you and, you know, your preferences, your current preferences on food and the current cravings you might have, the foods you might miss, and make this more about the impact that every time you eat has on the rest of the world. So the impact it has on the planet, on the animals, on the lives of other human beings. I think honestly reflecting back over the past almost three years of being vegan, that's what has allowed me to stay vegan. You know, to really make that worldly, global connection. Not just, you know, put on my blinders and, you know, put a fork in my mouth and go for it. Um, you know, it's really about making that worldly connection. Um, you know, things just don't appear out of nowhere. They come from somewhere. And I think once you guys watch these three documentaries that I suggested, um, you guys will really be able to connect the dots and, you know, to really establish that connection once again. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you found this helpful and you know, we are excited to continue on. If you haven't started yet, don't worry. It's only day one. You can still jump on board. And yeah, don't um, hesitate to reach out with any questions, any comments, anything. And if you like this video, like I said, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next video. Alright, ciao!